tell us a little bit about the Fab Lab movement yeah. and how Manchester Fab Lab came about? Yeah, well, Fab Lab started as an idea from the Centre of Bits and Atoms in MIT in the States, and it was an idea of trying to create an environment where normal people, um, people off the street, people, you know, the general public, could actually have access to equipment that they normally don't have access to. And it's a series of digital fabrication equipment that is normally only accessed in large organisations or research institutes. Um, so the Manchester, the, the Manufacturing Institute got interested in this through our charitable work about trying to improve education and, and further education for the public and also in, in our advocacy of manufacturing. So we got involved in Fab Labs as we saw it as a, a future manufacturing model and demonstrated that model. And we also saw it as a great way to improve skills and increase skills and also to further the idea of people getting involved in innovation, everyday people. So that's why we kind of we got involved in, man, in um, the Fab Lab. And um, the Manchester City Council and the, um, the Manchester Innovation Investment Fund really saw this as a, a way to help Manchester become more in, in, in innovative and create a more innovative population. So that's why they agreed to fund it. That's how it came about. So what type of people do you get coming through your doors? All kinds, absolutely all kinds, which is what we hope for. We get um, school children come in, we get people come in, some come in with their parents as well at the weekend. Um, we get artists, we've had students, we've had inventors, we've got businesses, we've got manufacturers, we've got design companies. It's it's the whole the whole range of people. We've even had kind of octogenarians coming in, old people designing um, things for them to help them take nuts off the toilet bizarrely enough <laughs> so yeah it's, it's just every, a whole range of people really right and am I right in thinking that it's free for non-commercial use yes yeah if, if, if it's free to come in the lab and use the lab um, it's free if you're happy to share your ideas and what you're doing with other people in the lab and other labs around the world so we have a system where people can, can very easily and quickly document what they're doing their designs the processes they use then they can use the lab for free. And also, by using the lab for free, they agree to share their knowledge with other users of the lab as well. But you're also available to do commercial work? Yes, if people are, um, want to protect, protect their IP or retain their, their designs, and keep the designs themselves, if they would like to commercialise their designs, then they can pay a small amount to actually use the lab, either exclusively or use their machines um, yeah, for a small fee. That's brilliant. And where can people go to find out more? Uh, go to our website, fablabmanchester.org, um, .org UK, and um, yeah, there's all the information on there, whether you're a school, an individual, a commercial user, it tells you what the lab's about, how you can use it, equipment's there, the kind of software we use, yeah, it's all on there. Eddie, thank you very much. You're welcome. Brilliant.